Welcome to Seesaw. This video is designed to help free and Seesaw Plus teachers get up and running with Seesaw. While watching, have another window or device ready to follow along with the steps. Seesaw creates a powerful learning loop that brings together teachers, students, and families to deepen student learning. By the end of this video, you will be set up with an account and a class with students. You will also know how to use essential Seesaw tools. Let's get started. First, create an account and class. Go to app.seesaw.me or download the Seesaw Class app. Find the I'm a teacher button here. Either enter your information here and press Create Teacher Account button or sign up through Google by tapping here. You will be prompted to create your class. You have two options to create a class. If you already have a class set up in Google, click Import Roster from Google Classroom and follow the prompts. Setting up your class this way means your students are automatically imported into your Seesaw class. They can simply use their Google credentials to sign in or enter your class name and choose your grade level. If you teach multiple grades or you're a specials class, you can choose other. Pause the video now to create your account and your class. All right, let's add your students. If you created your class by importing a roster from Google Classroom, you can skip this step. Your students are already added and ready to log in. Click the plus students button. You can find it down here. If your students have ready access to email addresses or Google accounts, they can use them to sign into Seesaw. When prompted, if you want students to sign in with their email address or Google account, choose yes. Students will use this code here when they sign into the Seesaw Class app for the first time. After the first time, they'll only need to enter their email address and password to sign in. If you don't want students to log in with an email address, choose no. This means students will sign in with a class, text, or QR code. We recommend this sign-in mode for younger students. Next, how will students use their devices? Even in classrooms where students share a handful of devices, students usually use devices one at a time. In this case, choose one-to-one -one devices. It's the option we recommend. It's time to enter student names. You can do this one by one up here or paste a list of students' names here. You can always add more students later in class settings. When students use Seesaw in school, they use this QR code or this text code to sign into the class app. Note that the text code expires every 60 minutes. Pause the video now, choose a sign-in mode, and add your students. Get everything you need to get students started on Seesaw, including lesson plans, handouts, and more in our Get Students Started Kit. Follow this link to access the kit. Now that you're all set up, let's take a look at the essential parts of Seesaw. Feel free to refer back to this video as you explore in the coming days and weeks. When your students start to add to their journal, you can view their work in a few ways. First is the Journal tab. It looks like this. You can find it here. This is where you'll find all posts by all students in the order they're posted. You can toggle between the journal view and the calendar view up here. Click on the calendar icon if you want to view posts from a specific date. You can also view work by an individual student by clicking on a student's name over here. Pause the video now to practice viewing work in multiple ways. The easiest way for students to get started is by clicking the green add button. You can find it up here. When students click the green add button, they have access to all these amazing learning tools. They can take a picture, make a drawing, record a video, upload a file, write a note, or attach a link. Here are a few examples. With the photo and microphone tools, even our littlest learners can share themselves reading aloud like this. Even our shyest readers get excited, and families love hearing their children improving with each read. With the drawing tool, students can show the reasons behind their thinking, becoming more independent and self-directed learners by doing so. Seesaw tools give you quick and easy ways to enhance and supplement what you're already doing to keep students interested, inquisitive, and inspired. Now, choose one learning tool 
Think of one way your students could use it. Pause the video now and write down your idea. The second way students can add to their journal is by responding to an activity. When you assign an activity to students, we'll cover that in just a minute, it'll appear in the Activities tab. The Activities tab looks like this. You can find it here. To respond to an activity, students simply click the Add Response button. It looks like this. You can find it here. Students have access to all the same great learning tools. Pause the video now and check out the Activities tab. There are tons of free activities ready for you to assign your students. Here's how. Click the green Add button, then Assign Activity. You'll get taken to My Library. To find activities created by our community of ambassadors, click the Community tab up here. You can filter by grade level, by subject, search by keyword, or browse activities to find ones perfect for your class. When you find an activity you like, click the heart icon to save it to My Library. You can even customize any part of an activity to meet your class's unique needs. Simply click on the three dots, then copy and edit activity. To assign an activity, click Assign. It looks like this, and you'll find it up here. Choose the class or classes you want to assign it to and click Assign again. You'll get this confirmation screen and your activity will show in your Activities tab. You can see which students have completed the activity by clicking on the gray bar here. When a student adds a response, you will see their response above their name. Pause the video now, find an activity in the library and save it. Keep in mind that all student posts are approved by you, the teacher, before they're added to the class journal. Here's how the approval flow works. When students submit a post, you will see a red bar on the bottom of your screen. Click Review. You will see all posts that need approval. You can click on a post to view it, then decide if you want to approve, send back, or delete it. Pause the video now. If students have already started posting, approve their posts. If not, remember you can always refer back to this video later. You did it. You mastered the Seesaw basics. Your students are going to be so excited to share their learning on Seesaw. With these skills, there's so much you can do in Seesaw. There's also so much more we'd love to show you. We offer free training throughout the year, and we'd love for you to join us. You can register at web.seesaw.me training. Thanks again for spending this time with us. See you again soon here at Seesaw.